this has been amazing, Joe. Um, I've learned a lot as we've been talking today. And uh, what you've said has kind of helped me to, to recognize areas in my own life as a parent and, and just as an adult and some things that maybe I can do to change some of my habits and, and to approach even my own personal uses of, with technology is, is, is kind of more tool focused as yeah. opposed to using it as a toy. Right. Yeah. Um, so that, that I really appreciate that. Um, and of course that's what we try and do with here at the cleaner net is, you know, we want to try and give parents some tools that they can use to kind of limit access to pornography to, yeah, to absolutely. kind of limit the amount of time that's being spent on some of these devices without having to just be present all the time. Right. If yes. you can set up Hey, you know, I'm going to give you a window of opportunity here to be on your device as you get a cup, you know, an hour or two or whatever this day or, or on a Saturday or whatever. Yep. And then that's it. And then that, if that device no longer works, then they've got to go find something else to love it, to, 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 to do, time, to do. Right. And they got Learn to go hopefully find something, their world. create a game or do something like that. So that, that's really what we're trying to do here is we're trying to not, not restrict yeah. or, you know, not, not tell kids what to do or what parents right. what to do. That doesn't work. No, it's, it's really just to develop healthy habits in our own homes. Yeah. And, and like you said, accountability, right? That's, I'm, that's, that's really what we're trying to do at the cleaner. And that's what our product is really engineered to do. Absolutely. And I can just re like reinforce that principle. Like there's, I love what you do because with the cleaner net, it, it takes away a lot of the threat. Right. Right. A lot of the stuff that could come and, and potentially harm our children. And uh, at the same time, the most important thing that you can do to help keep your kids safe with technology is increase accountability and teach them why. Not that you're doing it as a punitive thing. If, if you're trying to do it as a punitive thing, kids will find their way around it. Right. It's a, it becomes a game yeah. that they're like, oh, my parents think that they've got this filter that's <laughs> going to keep me you know, away from pornography or whatever. I can figure out a way around it. Right. Well, that's not the point. And you can tell them that. Say, it's not my job to keep you away from pornography. It's my job to help you understand why it's not healthy for you. Right. why it's not going to be helpful later in life for you. Sure. And so you, you teach him, talk to him about the effects of pornography on marriage. Talk to him about the effects of pornography on your own personal mind, on your ability to connect with people. Mm -hmm. That's really honestly the most dangerous thing about pornography is that because again, it's fantasized, sensationalized. It hampers your ability to actually connect in a real life situation. Hmm. And once kids understand that, like I, I told my 12, 14 year old son about that. And we talk about it regularly. And I was like, if you have any hopes and desires to have a strong relationship with your future spouse or partner or whoever, you're going to try to avoid pornography at all costs today. Cause it's coming for you. Like mm -hmm. you don't have to go find pornography. <laughs> It's coming to you, right? but the more that you can avoid it, the stronger connection you will have and the happier relationship you'll have later. That's a hard thing for kids to recognize, yeah. but when they know that it's up to them, it's their life and it's not your job to stop them, but just teach them and help them, you know, give them the right tools and stuff to, to help keep them safe. They'll make the right decisions yeah. for themselves. That's, that's awesome. the big difference. Yeah, that's great advice. Uh, Joe, um, for, for our, uh, our people out there, our friends out there that are yeah. watching this, if they have maybe a teenager or preteen that's, that's really struggling right now, yeah. maybe they have uh, an addiction with pornography. Maybe Most they of them do. Most maybe, they, maybe they're really does. struggling with anxiety or depression or, yep. or thoughts of suicide. How, how do they get more information? How do they, you know... To, how would they get a hold of you or Absolutely. learn more about uh, Life Launch Centers? That's probably the best way is just go right onto our website, okay. lifelaunchcenters.com. Um, you know, as we have these group counseling sessions that we do here in St. George, as well as in West Jordan and Hurricane, and there's a few, and we even do them online. So even if you don't live in, in those areas, you can join a group through telehealth, which is 
Um, again, interacting through screen, not as awesome as in person, <laughs> but still very, very but, helpful. But available. I mean, you know, Absolutely. We, you know, we have so many people that are still, still many of whom are in, in quarantine That's or, right. you know, and in because situations of health where reasons they yeah, can't for, attend because of COVID and stuff. So that may be a great, a great yeah. way for them to, uh, get, maybe get some help and, and, uh, really get some yeah. treatment there. There's some online resources there on our website too. We've got a lot of uh, podcasts, radio shows to listen to, and even some online education available. Awesome. So, Joe, thank you so much. Oh, it's a pleasure. So thanks so much for having me. Thank you everybody for joining us today. Really appreciate it. If you need more information, visit our website at thecleanernet.com. That's thecleanernet.com. Till next time, have a great day, everybody. Take care.